Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making crochet dog. Very soft, I will use Himalaya velvet, two of them. You can pick the colors you like. I am going with pink, white for the body, black for the eyes. You're gonna need some feeling, obviously more than that, it's just symbolic. I have a hook number six, scissors, pins, needle, and your stitch marker. So let's get started. I will start from the head. I put everything on the side and I will start from the head. As usual, we start the head from a magic ring. Right, and on matching ring, I'm placing six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now what we need to do, we need to tighten up the yarn but very gently because this yarn is very easy to break. All right. And second round around will be single crochet, two single crochet in each uh, chain. So at the end, we're gonna have a 12. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, where is it? 11 and 12. All right. We can tighten up a little bit here. It's tight. Okay. I use my stitch marker. And now we start increasing the head size. So I will start from single crochet one. And in the next the stitch I place in two which I'm calling increase and again one and two in the next one again one and increase and one and increase and one and increase all right so removing marker placing in the last stitch and let's go for increasing two times so now we go two single crochets one and two and increase so increase two in the one again one two and increase so let's make that way. Well, let's finish this round till here. Then another round, you'll make one, two, three, and increase all the way. And another row, another round will be four. One, two, three, four, and increase. And I see you when we'll finish four increasing. When you finish 
for stitches and increase. Now it's time for um, making the just single crochet or around. And we're gonna make five rows of single crochet all around from this point when you finish. So one single crochet in each stitch. So let's keep doing it till five rounds already. And how you can notice your shape is already changing, is turning into the ball. Five single crochet rows is ready. So now we'll be decreasing. So what we do, I start from decrease and four single crochets. Decrease, four single crochets. I am making invisible decrease, which goes in the one stitch, second, just the front ones, pull yarn over, and that's it. And now four single crochets, one, two, three, and four, and again, decrease, invisible decrease, and one, two, three, and four, and again, invisible decrease, and make all the way this way till the end. Then you will do another three rounds of it. Another round will be invisible decrease, one, two, three. Then another one is visible decrease, one and two. And the fourth one will be invisible decrease, one, invisible decrease, one. But yes, we need to stop around the second decrease because we're gonna need to put our filler inside. I finished a decrease and two single crochets. Now is the right hand to insert my filling. My filler, not filling. <laughs> All right. It's getting nicely. I need to little bit shape it. Okay, I don't uh, put too much because I still need to close enough. I will put a little bit later on. So what left for me? Uh, decrease and one single crochet. So I do now decrease, make it tight and one single crochet. You need to be careful because at the end when you already put your stuffing, it's very easy to overstretch. Decrease and then you will have big holes. <laughs> one single crochet and decrease and one single crochet okay decrease and one single crochet decrease and one single crochet okay I can remove it place it at the last stitch and I would put 
put a little bit more inside okay on the sides the other side okay a little bit more all right and the final round will be decreasing all the way so it's one and two make it tight and decrease okay stay here and one and two tight and decrease all right one and two decrease one and two and decrease and the last one one and two and decrease i like the last one do as a slip stitch slip stitch is is look better okay and what i do now i remove this cut my yarn take it off the tail make it tight get my needle okay 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 it's a little bit tricky to put it in okay and i will place inside the remaining stitches all around one two three four and five and we tighten up squeeze it and that's it now what we need to do we need to hide this yarn inside and secure so you just go all around different places wherever you like okay to make it invisible you mostly try to do a cross how you can see the stitches goes if you do like this it will be visible if you see the line here place it here is the the best way to hide your yarn All right i go this way now okay make it quite loose don't tie it very strong yike okay yeah and i can hide it cut it somewhere at the bottom so we're not gonna see that okay and the head will be ready so now we'll make the face for our dog we start from um, magic ring All right and we placing single crochets inside one two three four five and six now we gently pull it to close enough and we start doing two single crochets in each chain one two three four five six this is my first chain when i'm placing two of them i need to use the hook this way to make sure it's gonna get in one and two another one two also one and two so it's four already five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have a twelve single crochets around. I a little bit pull it again this piece so it's tightened up. And now we will be increasing. So what do we do? We do single crochet and increase. So one single crochet here and another one two single crochets which is increase. Then again one single crochet and increase. One single crochet and increase. One single crochet and increase. Until the end of the round. The last increase is here. Placing stitch marks in the last chain, last stitch, and we do two single crochet increase, two single crochet and increase. So one, two, and increase. One, two and increase so let's make all the way till the end the same way Last increase, last increase, and from now we will make the final round, which will be single crochet all around, one in each. Finish the last one with slip stitch and pull it your yarn and cut the yarn but leave quite a long tail so you will assemble it to your head. I think should be enough. Pull it through this. Okay, tighten up and your element for the face and nose is ready. Okay, and now I can start to make my ears. I mean dog ears, not my ears. Okay, so I start with magic ring. Okay, two and go. And this time I'm gonna place five single crochets inside one 
two, three, four, and five. Okay, tighten up. And as always, two single crochet inside the each stitch. So it's one, two, three, four, five. This is my fifth. I am placing my hook inside and making two single crochets. One, two, another two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two more in the next, nine, and ten. Okay, I will tighten up the whole little bit. I place my stitch mark in the last uh, ch 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 chain, 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 stitch. Okay, so now we are increasing a little bit. So we do one single crochet and increase. And one single crochet and increase. All the way increase here. And one single crochet and increase. One single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase one single crochet and the last increase okay okay how you can notice the difference then we made five uh, single crochets at the, the beginning is getting turning the different direction not like the head which was going flat now is shaping already so that's why we use five at the front all right so we still keep increasing i will make two single crochets and increase one two 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 and the last increase okay that might be enough with increasing now we'll do a few rounds of single crochets or around so let's do this one two three you just don't really need to count in here if you have a um, your stitch mark let's make it three rounds of single crochets and I will be back One, two, three. Three rounds of single crochets are ready, but what I'm thinking, I think we might make two more. Two more rounds of single crochets around. The ear will be a little bit longer. Okay.
one round is nearly there. Okay, and one more. Nearly there. Right, so now it's time to decrease a little bit. That look good. So I place my stitch mark at the last chain, single crochet, and we decrease. So we will make two single crochets and decrease again two single crochets and decrease two single crochets and decrease two single crochets and decrease come come there decrease that's good two single crochets and decrease i'm gonna remove it and decrease all right let's see where we are okay so now we make another two rounds of single crochets okay two rounds all around just single crochet Okay, one round is ready, one more, one more, I think they are gonna be very long floppy ears. I think they will be very cute. Okay. Okay. And now we'll decrease again. So we make one single crochet and decrease. One single crochet and decrease. Let's go one and decrease where is it oh come on come on come on come on come on come on okay decrease and again one and decrease one and decrease One, where is the one that's confusing here? One and decrease. One and decrease. All right, we there, nearly there. Okay, let's check the size. Okay, so I'm thinking to make one more uh, single crochet round around. 
one more around okay just single crochet in each stitch okay one now what we do we flatten flatten up and we stitch all them together so we go here one and single crochet one and single crochet then this one goes here single crochet this one single crochet did I make it one and two single crochet and the last one somewhere on the corner that's more difficult to do that okay so now you take out your yarn you cut obviously you will leave longer tail again because you need to stitch it to the head mm -hmm. okay let's make it there take it out take it out and your ear is ready so we're gonna need to make the second ear the same way so i plan to have square body is gonna be approximately the size like that so the easiest things to do is make a chain let's see how many we are gonna need one two three four five six seven eight nine nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 22 my 22 yes 22 should be fine i think so now we're gonna go 22 more again 22 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, because we'll make it double and we will crochet all around. So now we connect back with the front. Make sure it's not twisted. Did not twist, okay. And in the first one, make slip stitch. Let's get in. Okay, and slip stitch here. So in total, we have a 44, chain of 44. Come on, get in. All right, we connect it now. So I'm gonna make one two chain and in the same place i will place half double crochet to make it faster we're gonna make all around with half double crochet so what we do you take yarn over place it in pull it and go through all of this three very simple and we place in each one half double crochet so we're gonna have a 44 half double crochet so let's do this get in and draw all of three yarn over 
next one pull it in the three next one inside through all of the three again okay inside pull all the three let's keep doing it till the end of our feeder Oh, that's wrong you see I placed two in one okay so next one this one is here already okay you need to be very careful <clears throat> It's easier when you use the hook to make a hole. All right, let's finish it and I will be back when I'm at the end of this round. I'm nearly there, the last uh, <clears throat> chain left. I'm going in, pull over, and the last one I am making slip stitch inside. So one round is ready it will look like this so now we will make more rounds all the rounds go the same till you make nice rectangle which look like body um yeah so again where we start always at the front we're making one and two chains and then inside and double crochet again next one inside and half double crochet another and half double crochet so make as many rounds as you need till you have a rectangle and then i will be back to finish it off and make a legs now the body is ready it's nice rectangle it took me 19 rows we can count one two three four five Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen rows. All right. So what we do? We just close top 
at the bottom. So we will close with single stitch from the side to side. It's very easy. You just grab this and this and make a single single crochet. I wanted to say not single stitch, sorry. Yeah, we close it up this way. There and there. So there how it look like. this one we just finish of the yarn we cut the yarn and hide somewhere inside the body and the last one okay not right okay that's good the one side is ready. I will cut it off. Remove this piece. Take a needle and hide the remaining piece inside the body. This. Try to follow the stitch line so it's invisible this way. Okay. And the bottom part we just stitch using the needle. Regular stitch all around. make a knot here put it inside and very similar way keep stitching till the end of the line Super easy. Then 
That's how it looks. Okay, I will finish it off the camera and I will be back. So the body is finished, stitched the both sides. We can check how we look like with our head. Okay, so now I'm making the legs. I will make a four the same legs. I don't want different one. They will be coming out from here on the sides. So I start with a magic ring okay okay it's not again again okay and make six single crochets one two three four, five, and six. Pull the yarn and tighten up. The second round is two single crochets in each chain. So it's gonna one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, seven, 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 eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have a 12 single crochets around. Now I'm gonna use my stitch mark and I will increase one, one single crochet and increase. One single crochet and increase. One single crochet and increase 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 And from now, we'll be doing many rows of just single crochet all around. So let's just keep doing all the way along. right one row is ready let's make two more rows of single crochets around i am changing yarn now for white little bit tighten up and with white yarn I will make uh, 
five single crochet rows around so just keep crocheting all around One round is ready. Let's make four, four more. Let's make five more, so six in total. Yes, let's make six in total. And I can close it up, make a, that, and that's it. It can go inside, no problem. Okay, so let's make five more from now. Another row is slightly decrease the legs, so I will make um, decrease and two single crochets, one and two, and decrease and one, oopsie, and two and decrease okay one two decrease one two all right okay we can make one more decrease Okay. All right. So now it's time we we fill our leg with the stuffing, but don't fill too much. Just a little bit. We want this leg be very soft. Just a little bit at the end. The top one will be soft. Okay. And we close all the way here with single crochet. Okay, we'll do single crochet and we close it. Take it off. Leave a little bit yarn at the end because we will need it to connect with the body. Just take it off and the leg is ready. <gasps> what I have done? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. That's, that's this way. <laughs> All right, so the leg is ready. We will make all four the legs the same and then we'll connect them here so make three more and come back to my video and the final element for our dog is tail obviously so let's do that magic ring and we'll make five single crochets inside one two three four and five five all right one two three four five tighten up and we double so we play single crochet in each one two three four five this is my first one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and ten. We tighten up a little bit more. You can place your stitch mark. So we're gonna have a ten. Now we will go around with single crochet in each stitch. So we'll have again ten. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And ten here, and ten. All right. We will make one more, and we change for white yarn. So we just count it: one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, and in this point, I will replace it with the white yarn. Okay, tighten up. Okay, 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 and make three more uh, single crochets rounds around. So, two, three. Now we don't need to count because obviously we will see where is white started. So we finish in the same point. One round is ready, so let's go for the second round. In this point, we can cut this piece. This one. Okay, and make a knot here, so it's not coming out the thread. Okay. right and hide it in and we'll make um let me think because I, I never have a ready ready template ready design so i am thinking of my pattern on the way when i'm making it i see how it look like and then i'm thinking maybe add less add more so that's why i'm always changing my my mind so if it is one we can make maybe three more rounds of white all right okay i think the tail is long enough we will stitch it here at the back so i gently put my stuffing in not not a lot also the same just a little make it a little bit soft okay that's i think that's enough and same way we will close it single crochet around so that's it very easy three and four right Cut the yarn and remove this piece and our tail is ready it will go here okay. 
let's assemble face we have a ears and we have a face so let's do this um, I will start from the this element and I will place it here in the middle exactly where it is because it look better than there so I use the needle and place it exactly in the middle and now what I need I secure around to make sure it's not moving it's not replaced because lots of times happens then doing stitching everything is is moving slightly and then when you finish you have the face or eyes or ears in a completely different place than you plan to take my needle I really like the huge needle the biggest possible it's easier to work with oops okay okay so how we be stitching in try to grab a little bit under on the bottom that way do not tighten just slightly and the top one now again bottom and the top stitch bottom so make sure then your stitch is under this element it will be invisible and another stitch from the top the stitch from the bottom and from the top Top. now we go bottom one all right so make all this element around before you finish you have a, this kind of gap you just put your filler inside and close it now it's time to make ears so we must estimate in which place you want them lower or higher that's how it feels I think I'm gonna make them in this point where is one stitch away from the mouth and I will place my helpers <laughs> here so it won't move all right and I can start stitching the same way like we stitch the mouth one in and one out top and bottom so that's and up and down And the top one and the bottom top and the bottom this one anymore and the bottom to make 
make sure that it's a stitch stronger you might go back with second stitch so we might do that again going back okay seem to hold nicely let's see how's at the bottom quite clean so okay I can do this way now and hide the yarn somewhere inside make sure you don't catch them double because you will stitch the ear together all right Okay, that might be enough. Cut it off, and one ear is ready. Now make the same way, second ear. And here comes the tricky part, make eyes. Eyes, <laughs> all right. Make eyes is not easy, always something is moving. So let's try to make it at the first time. Okay, how I do the eyes. I'm putting my yarn somewhere at the back. So I can hide it and uh, I go somewhere here. Let's see. Taking it. That's it. And I make them till here. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Might be too close, let's see. Okay. And one, two, three inside, one, two, three, somewhere here. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. actually not that bad okay so yeah if we done the eyes now we need to hide this remaining piece so I'm always going back to the same hole so the filling filler which is inside it will hold the yarn so let's go back in so you cannot see that and go back to the same place and again hide it and again All right you cannot see the yarn here and make it few times till you think then it's safe and now cut yarn and I'm a little bit pushing inside all right oops so our face is nearly there now we need to make a nose uh, for nose oh I didn't mention for the eyes I use the decay yarn and for the nose I will try to go with uh, chunk yarn yeah okay i will take the bigger piece all right ok 
okay and I start exactly the same way how I start with the eyes I can hide my arm maybe somewhere under ear and now we'll be like we'll do something like this kind of triangle I will place this yarn here uh, the reason why I'm stitching the eyes and nose is to make sure the toy is suitable for uh, babies and children at any age uh, because how you know uh, you cannot have any hard or removable elements for babies make sure they don't swallow it we go for triangle and go back again to the same place and go back here make it quite loose don't tighten up it does need to be very tight The little difficulties is to do between the stitches because it's not easy really to get inside the yarn. So sometimes you might have a gaps. Okay. Again, the same place. back I will try to go in here okay very gentle very soft and again the same let's try here Okay, and now a little bit to cover the top, I will go under, okay, and make a few rounds at the top of the nose. Okay, that might be enough. Okay, it's not the most beautiful nose. <laughs> um, actually, I can go back, go back there. And I can do a little bit like this. It could be nicer. <laughs> it's not bad. Okay, and I'm gonna hide my yarn now. Same way I like I hide it, black one. good and 
now we'll have the legs, hands and um, tail. So this is our body, face might be there, okay. Then we have uh, two legs and another two legs and the tail will be at the end. Okay, I will start with the leg. I will take my needle and stitch my leg exactly to the end or the front. Okay, so we go there and go there. And again, the full stitch here and go there. And this stitch, and this. Make sure you do not tighten very strong. Looks fine. All right. One more, and I recommend you go back the same way to make sure that it's strong stitch. How you know children like to pulling the toys, and yeah, so so it's not falling apart. And again, now you can go back and in and down and from the bottom and the top again and from the bottom. And this yarn is so easy and so beautiful to use because even if we stitch them together, you cannot see the stitch. It looks like it's one piece. Okay, you see, there we have a gap. We need to secure properly. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, and I will hide my yarn same way inside. Also make sure you don't catch this double. The same way we will make all legs and tail, and then I will be back to help you assemble the head. You can go even far, far away. Then when you take it out, okay. That's good. That looks good. You can change like. The last part left to assemble, which is head. So I will place my head here in the middle uh, around probably one to second row estimate the distance from here is not really easy to do that and I will secure all right okay 
Now I will take a yarn, but uh, for this I have a chunk yarn because this yarn is stronger and I want to make sure that this head hold properly and uh, the soft yarn is not really hold nicely. All right. Okay. this case I will start somewhere here with double knot because I really need this stitch be very strong all right here the same way as I assembled legs and tail but this this yarn it is much much stronger so should be good okay. for the head assemble we gonna need the two or three layers we will do all around this way because this line is not strong enough Visible, you cannot see the stitches here. Oi, 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 that's not nice. Okay. how is stitch for now okay so as you see this head is hanging so what we need to do we need to go for another layer of stitch which go a little bit deeper okay go the second line which I will do from this side I'm moving with my work all over the table I hope you you see something okay and the bottom We might need 
need one more layer if this one is not enough if our head is still falling down Then we go there. Let's see how it goes. Yes, it's still dropping down. So I will, it can be that way, but I like have a little bit more higher head. So I will make one more layer, which goes a little bit more deeper here. Okay. So I will go there. And a little bit more farther. I'm taking only the top layer of the body. I'm not taking the bottom one. And then higher here on the head. So we're a little bit pulling this head back. Yes. Okay, let's see. It's still not there, but I think that's fine. It's gonna work. I think that's this is good. All right, so this time we need like properly secure we need really good knot here because this one needs to be strong and cannot loosen up and one more maybe okay and then we're gonna hide it again i think the best place is hide under the head under the neck if we hide the yarn because this yarn might be visible so this yarn needs to go deep in that way yes Actually, comforter toys are my favorite toys to make. They are very easy and very fast to make. I hope you, you like same like me. It's, they are super cute. Okay, I'm going to 
gonna finish it off now. Cut it off. And that's it. Our cute oi dessert. Okay. Our cute dog is ready. It's ready. So I have a hope that you enjoy the tutorial and will join me in my next project. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. It's gonna make me really happy. Thank you for watching and I see you soon, hopefully.